welcome to the class do you know that you can use all those cups around you to make a very fun art and crafts i'm very sure that you will find this interesting at the end of the day i'd like you to take your time sit down and then watch this video to the end and if possible watch this video again and again today we are going to be learning how to use this portable cup around us to form a very fun art and crafts i'm sure you'll find this interesting i'll be right back with all the steps you need to create your first cup arts welcome back these are the materials i'm going to be using to form my lovely craft cup holder i'm going to be using this cup to produce this holder in such a way that we can actually use this to keep a lot of materials around us and i'm very sure that you will see this as interesting at the end of the day so what are the first step i need or what are the materials i need i need any cup around me you can get those cup especially in your kitchen and the mommy can also help you to get this cup at the market and you can also um you also need a marker you will need a scissors and um, you will need different colorful paper to form something nice so let me start right away let me tell you the kind of object we are going to be putting at the back of this cup we are going to be adding a butterfly at the back of this cup so how do we go about it to cut a butterfly is very simple i would like you to watch my step by step guide on how to do that right now so what i'm going to do is very simple this is my left and um, this is my right so i'm going to fold this into i'm going to take my right to my what to my left then the moment i do that i folded the paper into two so this side is the closed side then this side is the open side so i have two parts closed side and what an open part so what am i going to do right now so what i'm going to do right now is very simple i'm going to write three you know as we write three on a normal day that is uh, three that is one two three i'm going to be writing this number uh, this is how i'm going to go about it in a very big way the upper one is going to be small the lower one is going to be big this is what i'm writing and this is what i'm going to use to form my butterfly but there's one step again to make this form a good and uh, a flying butterfly what i'm going to do is to bring everything to this side this point over here and then to bring the second one also to this point over here so what i'm going to do is to bring the line from here take it to this side one that means i'm going to what i'm not going to use this again that is one then the second one two with this now i'm going to form a butterfly so they are going they are meant to be close to each other so one side second side so i'm cancelling this so where am i going to cut i'm going to cut exactly from here drive to this side i stop and i continue again down to the other side so how do i go about it very simple as a b c this is my scissors and i like you to get a scissors that will be good for you so how do i go about it i'm going to take my scissors and um, cut this step by step i cut one i open my scissors again i cut please don't cut like this you open your scissors wide and press it down you open it wide again and press it down so when you do this when you get to this side you stop so when you stop you take your scissors again make it face front and then you cut again you cut you cut you cut and uh, with this right now i have actually cut out the parts that i mark i actually cut out the parts that i mark so from here right now if i open now you are going to see the butterfly butterfly yes this is the butterfly that we need so what i'm going to do right now 
I'm going to cut another one that I'm going to use on my cup. This is just like practice and I like you to practice this again and again with any pieces of paper around you, especially white, before you now use your colorful paper. So let me take my colorful paper. I fold into two. Remember the first step, as I said. And remember, this is my what? My closed side. And this is my what? My open side. My closed side and my open side. So um, with this right now, what I'm going to do is very simple. I'm going to write what again? Three. Then I'm going to start the cutting from where? Here. Yeah. And I'll end it where? Here. Yeah. That means it's going to be like one and um, two so with this right now i'm going to form my butterfly so let me start my cutting right away i can also give it a style let me let me give this So what you are going to do, you can also go online and check different types of butterfly. This is the SS. So I just throw this away. You can check different types of butterfly and uh, get a lot of butterfly around you. So this is my butterfly. What am I going to do with this? I need two types of butterfly on this. That means two layers. So um, this is the first layer. So I'm going to cut the second layer right away. So if you master it, you can also cut it without, without uh, drawing. If you have mastered it, you can cut it without drawing. So this is my own cutting without drawing. So you will need to master this, cut as much as you can so that you master this. So this is the first layer and uh, the second layer. So with this now, what am I going to do? I'm going to take my gum. And I will gum this down. This is my gum. So with this gum right now, what am I going to do? This is called Ugum. And then you can also get um, top bond around you to use. So I apply at the edges. Then I what? I drop. Now, where am I going to apply? Am I going to apply my my cup? So I take one of the cup because I want the cup to be standing. So the cup is going to be exactly like like this. So I'm going to gum the, the I'm going to gum the cup on it left. I'm going to gum it right. So what am I going to do? You can make use of gum, and then you can make use of stapler. To achieve this but i would advise you to use stapler because if you use stapler is you are going to get it right away and uh, make sure that uh, your your butterfly is not that big so that uh, it can uh, actually um, stay right away So this is our lovely butterfly pencil holder and I would like you to take your time to cut your butterfly as small as possible to create your own. So these are the ones I have created, I created a very big one and um, I also have a small one. You can use your stapler and then um, you can also use your gum to make this work. So give it a try and then um, I'm very sure that you will find this very remember you can use this to hold a lot of things around you your toothbrush your marker your pencil you can use this at the at the living room and all other places around you even in your school and you can also give this to your teacher when school resume so I'd like you to produce yours and um, get back to me in any form and I will be ready to give you that lovely feedback Thank you very much. I'll be right back with another video next week.